Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing really well. Always a fascinating video to dive into. We're gonna be having a look at the May financial figures, the back end numbers for this reselling business of mine. I've been doing this full time now for the last nine months and I've been making these videos consistently for about the last six months. And there's always some fascinating insights to take away, not only for myself as, as obviously my business, but for you guys as well, you know, watching along and hopefully you can pull something out of it in today's video. I'm gonna be going through a few factors uh, to take into account, the monthly revenue, will be the first thing we look at. The monthly fees, the inventory that I purchased, the sales platform performance, so where I'm ultimately selling my items, and the final cash flow position, or what would ultimately be my paycheck at the end of the month, which is always a pretty uh, interesting number to have a look at. So a lot of numbers in this one, guys. I do love to go through it. Hope you're excited for it. Let's dive into it. So if we have a look at the first table, guys, this is the revenue, all the money that has come into the business for the month of May. So if we pull the table up and have a quick look, I've been able to sell 219 items, and that was an increase of six, and it was also a record for items sold in a single month. So 219, very happy about that. I'm also really happy about the $9,025 in revenue that we had come in for the month of May. So some really exciting stuff there. While it wasn't quite a record being $194 less than the previous month, I was still pretty happy with the overall result there. Average sale price, $32.25, a decrease of $1.50, as you can see. Uh, the cost of goods as well, $1,259. Cost of goods that actually went on to sell is what that figure refers to, a decrease of $244 from the previous month. But guys, my profit margin has increased up to 78%, a truly astronomical number when you're talking profit margins. So to get a 78%, I was pretty happy there as well. A um, bit of a recap here for you on my May revenue. Overall, guys, I'm pretty happy to be able to hit $9,000 yet again for my third consecutive month. I'm absolutely wrapped with that. Yes, I'd obviously like to get it up to 10 grand, and that is the goal. But um, to do it consecutively for three months straight is pretty cool. Uh, items sold as well. It's hovered between 200 and 220 every single month for the last three months as well. So that's really pleasing numbers. And the decrease on my average sale price going down to 32.25. I'm not actually too concerned about that because I have been selling a whole lot more DVDs over the last couple of months. So to know why that has dropped down to 32.25, it makes it okay. If I didn't know why it was dropping down, then that would be more of a concern. So know your numbers, and obviously I do in that sense. So uh, all in all guys, as I, as I mentioned, really stoked with the revenue for the month of May. Uh, let's dive into the fees and see how much uh, we've had to pay in those fees. It's ultimately my invoice from what was April 15 through to May 15. So it doesn't account for the back end of May, it's just basically the way I'll track my, my financial uh, figures for that month is basically the eBay invoice that I receive for that particular month. So it is slightly skewed, but if we have a look at what that bill was, it was 1,338 dollars an increase of 156 dollars in fees for that uh, particular billing cycle um, not too bad of a result there the postage has decreased as well which is kind of cool uh, 67 dollars and 18 cents saved off what the postage was last month and having sold six more items uh, that was really pleasing to see and uh, the total overall uh, there was an increase of 89.26 um, 3298 Guys, really not, nothing too crazy there. There's only been a slight fluctuation of $89. There were six more sales compared to the previous month and I paid an extra $89 overall. So that kind of makes sense in the sense of my fees. I'm generally hovering around about 15%, promoting all of my listings at 2%. Um, and then obviously my postage, maybe a decrease there of $67 because there was potentially a few less international sales, which would have obviously increased my postage rates uh, from the previous month. So um, guys, fees are pretty standard. You're gonna have to pay them and uh, the fees are pretty much sitting pretty around that 15%. If we dive into the inventory now and have a bit of a look at basically all the items that I'm buying on a, on a monthly basis, and this month has been interesting because it's the first time that I've bought a wholesale uh, order. So I had uh, about collectively 145 used jumpers. There were some DVDs that I bought as well, but a very large expense of about $1,600 was that wholesale deal. So if we pull the table up and have a look at the inventory uh, results, I've been able to purchase 355 items. So when you take out 145 for jumpers, I've basically only bought 200 more items outside of that wholesale order uh, in the month of May. That was an increase though of 84 on the previous month. Uh, my gross purchase amount, I've spent $1,300 more, ultimately being the wholesale order compared to the previous month. I've spent $3,000 on goods this month in the month of May. Uh, an average purchase price of $8.45, uh, $8 I should say. So an increase of $2.28. Now, when you look at these figures, there's an increase there of $1,300. My invoice for the wholesale order was $1,600. So all in all, I've pretty much just had a consistent purchase month plus the purchase of my wholesale deal. 
And while I'm okay to take a bit of a whack on a cash flow sense because of that wholesale purchase, I am slightly disappointed that it might be a bit of a grind to get my money back because I, as I've touched on in previous videos, I wasn't too happy with the wholesale order that I actually had received. So it's gonna be a bit of work there to get that money back, but I did wanna go through the process of just simply trying. And I also was really happy to have been able to put that into my cash flow for the month of May before I go ahead and move out of home. It's obviously had a bit of a whack on my cash flow. You will see that a little bit later in this video, but um, it's a necessary part of the business, trying to learn a few new things. So to be able to obviously have the average sale price there of $8.45, that was a little bit higher due to the wholesale purchase averaging at around $11 per unit. So I'm definitely aware of the figures. It was a pretty consistent month of purchasing, um, but the wholesale did add on top of that from a spend. Having a look at the sales platform performance now as well, very interesting to see that eBay has been the dominant one yet again for this month. I've been able to have five sales on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, that was a decrease of five from the previous month. I did hit 10 uh, in the month of April. eBay was 198 in April. That's bumped up to 214 sales. So a really cool increase there of 16. And then my website, I've just been not putting enough time and effort into listing new items up onto the website and therefore, it's resulted in having zero sales for the month of May. So look guys, obviously eBay, a huge focus for me. Facebook Marketplace, I continue to want to put the time and the effort into it, but I continue just simply not to. So hopefully there'll be a few more furniture sales for the month of May. Now that I've got the van, I'm gonna be putting more time into buying more furniture. Um, so that will be a really cool figure to look at over the next few months as I really try to expand more into Facebook Marketplace and get back to the old numbers that I used to be doing on that platform. And then I also wanna be putting more time into the website. So there'll be basically a trip to the thrift items every single week, whatever I find in clothing and shoes, I will be putting up onto the website for the month of June. I'm just absolutely gonna go hard on, on basically making that website what I want it to be and hopefully there'll be a slight increase there but a lot of my time and effort is listing on eBay and obviously that's why you're seeing 214 sales. So we're now up to the big one guys, the final cash flow position. You take into account the money that's come in, the $9,000. You take into account the inventory, which is $3,000 worth of inventory this year. You also take into account the $3,300 in fees. And if we put all of those together, what's the difference? It is your cash flow. Are you positive? Are you negative? It's the most crucial figure for your business if you wanna try and pay yourself out of it as well. So if we pull the table up and we have a look at these numbers, Money in, 9,000. Money out, $6,300. The difference, $2,725 in positive cash flow. So that would ultimately be what my paycheck would be pre-tax uh, for the month of May. My YouTube though was doing really, really well. I was obviously through the Daily Mail. I was on the Today Show. Um, there was some volume of views and subscribers that came through the channel in the month of May. And as a result of that, I saw a really cool little revenue increase of 25% getting up to $655 for the month of May. So really cool figures there. An annual salary, which I always like to break it down to, was the equivalent of earning about a $40,000 a year paycheck for that specific month. So look, to be honest, having bought wholesale, if you took the wholesale out of it, I would be back up to around the 55,000 a year mark, which is what I have been over the last couple of months. So all in all, it's actually been a pretty good month. And, and if you did, like I say, take that wholesale out, it's been no different. Um, so look, I'm really happy with that, to be honest with you, $2,725, $40,000 a year. It's probably not exactly where I want it to be, but I do think it really is starting to scale up to where it needs to be. So slowly but surely, we are chipping away and 2,725, I thought was in the end, a pretty decent month. Um, I'm gonna continue to work really hard, source a heap more items and, and try and list consistently as I'm always doing. Doing all the little things, I put a video out around consistent daily practices on my eBay store that is proving just to bring in consistent sales. So I am gonna link that one up here for you guys to go and check out now that you've watched this video about the numbers behind it. Have a look at the daily practices as to how I go about it as well with that video. Hopefully that can uh, continue to be of use for you. Um, but that's everything guys, everything. All the numbers done, 2,725, a lot of wholesale uh, in there this month and um, hopefully that generates a few more sales next month as a result and my cash flow can slightly increase. But I um, hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've got something out of it. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Do appreciate you tuning in. If you are still here watching now, I always cannot thank you enough for that and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks very much guys.